Yeah, so that whole area there, look. That whole area is just compromised. There's no meat in it, yeah? It's weak. It's gone through in several places. It's paper thin, so that needs doing. Then if we go in on this side, this whole area here, you know, it's just paper thin. So, yeah. If you can bend one millimeter with the tip of your finger like that, yeah, then you know that's not, yeah, it's not gonna last, yeah. So, gotta get that done. Okay guys, so that's the rocker now. And it has had three coats of eyes upon zinc 182. That'll be it there. We've also come across these holes, guys. Okay. I've um I've put in some white paper in the back there just to show you, just to highlight it, but if you can see there just above the top okay so there's a hole there that needs doing and there's a hole here it's rusted out okay so that's from obviously it's from um, um, rust uh, water etc so it's just above the track the track this is the track base here right that the rollers go on and so it's just here and incidentally this is an area that always right you can check your bus you know maybe now it's scabby just there and you can you know take it off and put crust on it k-u-r-u-s-t and uh just scrape it back clean it back and just put k-u-r-u-s-t pull your rubber a little out around the corner and check it because this is prone you know this is an area here that you know the water gets in and it doesn't really get out that fast and it just you know takes longer to dry out i've said it plenty of times now but that's an area you know you need to keep your eye on that at your sliding door in your bay or indeed you know cargo doors or wherever at the bottom corners yeah bottom six inches again is what we're talking about yeah it's just another little thing to be that's another repair now that we're going to have to do okay um a difficult enough little repair because everything is so light around here and you know but um yeah i'll show you that when we get to it what it needs doing yeah okay guys so if you'll see there's a little hole here on the top of the old rocker and i left the old rocker on i covered the reasons why i did that but um now it looks like we're going to have to either take this off completely because it is gone on the inside here you can see there's nothing really left in there um and now it's a decision time as to whether to just cut it here just leaving the bare corner on and that's what we'll do we'll take it in increments so we'll just cut it here right and that'll be our start and we'll see then how good things are inside and how we would negotiate the new panel going into that area yeah um obviously it's going to have to be cut along the top there as well you know in line so if we just leave that corner okay leave the corner and just just here leave a mill or two let's say that well a mill or two yeah and uh, i'm going to cut that now i'll get you onto the stand okay guys so look i didn't see anything back in the comments as regards what we're going to call this guy i forget what we called him but i i think what we're going to call this little guy is herbie okay so he's our new he's herbie yeah um so from now on we're going to call him harvey i think that's that's a good name for him yeah okay so we're going to cut this off
yeah just take your time with it you'll see where you have the one mil and you'll also see where you don't have the one mil yeah like um there's a little hole in there you can see it and try and get you back to the light yeah you can see that hole right at the top yeah there so Buster was having great fun running around but yeah you always look for the one mill along that area there look yeah and the further out you get we didn't have it there so it was getting a bit thin okay so that's the reason now we now we have it off okay we're taking it in increments remember that's the way to work thank you Harvey okay so let's have a look and see what we've got here okay guys just to get you a closer look up at what we're at okay so we've left the corner yeah but I'm really not not all that excited about what I see yeah I think it's as well just to take it out completely take this one off completely okay so that's what we're going to do again we're going to remove it completely and see what's you know uh it's very weak here it's the wrong color it's it it's black you know so i don't like that uh i'm going to take it off completely it's you know yeah uh one mil is not that thick guys and when you don't have one mil you know you you, you it doesn't take long before it's gone and that's not part of a restoration then is it yeah so i'm not going to use that at all i'm going to take it off from just take it from there might do that with both now you know if the other one's like this the actual um the wing on the end of the sill which would have been along here and then up this way the end piece yeah it's there's nothing left of it there so i'm just going to like take that off now because that's infection right there as it is yeah and um yeah it's just there guys i don't know if you can make it out with this camera or not but yeah it's coming off okay let's see what what's you know what the bottom of the the b post is like at the bottom it's as well now it looks okay from what i can see but it's as well take this off Okay, we've took it down to microns, okay? Microns. I'll just show you that. Maybe I'll bring you around. Um, yeah, I suppose it's as well to show you. We haven't done this kind of thing before. Okay, guys. So when I say I've took it down to microns, yeah? And I've got my old faithful chisel, as you can see. So that's what I'm talking about. Look, you just take it down and that's how easy it is. No, there's no hammering going on here at the minute, you'll notice. Yeah, and I'm peeling it, look. We haven't gone at the B post. 
Okay, so you just take it down till you see it kind of turning blue. Did you hear that click? That's what we're talking about. You can actually almost. And that way you do no damage and you're not taking metal off where you don't want to take metal off. That gives you an idea, guys, yeah, of how close you can go without. Obviously, now, if I wasn't showing you on the camera, I'd have this off by now because it needs a little tap. But I'm holding this here just to show you that you go down until it's like almost you can hear it. Yeah, yeah. It's like razor blade thin. When it's razor blade thin, it turns a blue and then you know you know you, look see there's your B post so far in perfect condition now if I can get in in the middle here okay I'm gonna start jabbing it here guys just to get through it there we go Yeah, there you go. Look, so the bottom of the B post is in great condition. Okay, so that's a save. That's how you assess, you know, and that's that's the pace you take to know, you know, you don't go too far ahead. You don't, you certainly don't use big grinders and. Yeah, I would have used a four inch there and a, and a used disc. Okay. Um, and basically that's what we cut off it, look. So you can see that. Paper thin almost, you know, it's microns. Almost like just get it down to a sheet of paper. Okay. Now this has got a little bit weak here, so I might put a small little piece in here, guys. You can see that I put my hand behind it. Okay, can you see that? It's got a little weak there. I might just put a little bit of weld on it, it's, you know. Clean it up and put a bit of weld on it, I think it's fine. There's no point in cutting out and putting a piece in and all that. So I'll just clean this up now, okay? And we'll go on to the other side and make an assessment there. When we've got the welder set up, the weld set, Right, we'll put a bit of strength back into that guy and grind it down, clean it up. Yeah, um, next is this side, okay. And we're going to go, I'm going to go, yeah, I, do you know what? Yeah, I think I might just, I think I might just take this out of it as well, yeah, because that doesn't, that looks again, that looks crusty in there now. I don't know if you can see it or not, but yeah. We'll go and do that. We'll take that one off as well, I think. Yeah? And offer it up. Offer in the new and just stay with the new all together rather than... Because that has had... That's weak in there as well. Same deal, really. It's gone to nothing inside. The actual lip is what I mean. I mean this piece, look. This piece, guys. Yeah? The lip. Yeah? So... What we're looking at there is in there, and that's completely gone, yeah? Well, it's gone down again to, you know, less than half a mil, quarter of a millimetre, you know? Um, okay, bust. So, I'll take this off, guys, and we'll take it from there, yeah? There's always a bit of weld here, that's where they're welded, yeah? And they're welded up here as well. You see, you see the knob of weld up there. Yeah, so, and they're going to be all spot welded all the way along the top, and spot welded all the way along the bottom. So the seal isn't going any place. Okay. Um, yeah.
Okay, so we're down to the end of it now. I'm just going to have to take that out, this area out, yeah, and chip it again with my um, my little chisel and see how we are, yeah. Clean up this area while we're at it now as well. Make sure, you know, we have the one millimeters on there. Okay, so. I need to get at that guys and you're not going to see anything from the other angle so it'll be you've seen the other side how we've done it I'm going to do this apply the same here just take this down and I'll bring you back in when I get it close to finished or, or off okay guys I've just taken it down hopefully I'll be able to show you what it, what it entails again get behind it here yeah You can see there's like a there's like a little seam like a seam sealer yeah in here between us that's the kind of thickness and that's how you you know You don't want to take too much off just enough like that's like paper thin okay you just want to concentrate on the plug welds the old spot welds i should say not plug welds they've got big fancy spot welders they have <laughs> but anyway so now we just take this down clean this up yeah so I'll prod and poke that when I get it cleaned up and see how we all good. This just looks like a big blob of weld here, so I'll take that down as well, yeah. Can't see anything happening there. It's like a big blob. Yeah, we can put a hole in our new one and pick up on that. So that's solid, yeah. All good. Um Okay, so that's it. Yeah. Okay, I'll just clean. There's another little bit of, there's a bit of a plug still left there, guys, look. Yeah. No. Take that with the, um, I'll get that with, with, with Harvey. I like Herbie guys, it does a good job. Okay guys, just to show you the fitment, yeah? So we're looking really good there now, yeah? Everything looks nice. That'll pull to that. Sorry my hand's a bit blown out, but in order to have the right lighting, etc. So that's the fitment on there. That will pull. You can see the maybe two mil so I'm happy enough with the fitment I've had to do a little bit of finagling in around the back there um, but the fitment now is really good yeah so I'll just pop you on the stand there and I'll show you what we've uh, what we've got going on behind, okay?
Okay. Okay, guys. I want to show you this, right? Um, so you saw now that that's all been cleaned back. And what I've decided to do now is I'm going to cut this out. Come down here and come across here and put in a little piece in there, yeah? Okay, it's just as easy as, uh, you know, trying to trying to weld it. It's gone really thin and it's, that's the reason, okay? So, again, if you look down here, oh God. if you look down here, okay, you can see the thickness. And then up here it's gone really light, yeah? All the way to the top. So what I'll do is I'll cut here, cut down here. Now, to do this repair, right, we have to stay out. You see the change of colour there? There's like dark in at the back. So if I just put my disc down there, about four mil out from the corner, okay? That way we'll be able to weld and clean up after the fact, you know, when we put our piece in and tack it, okay? You can see that uh, right right on the inside in there. It's dark. So if I put a cut maybe there and across here, because it's okay here, and just take that out, that centre piece, because it's weak, okay? And like I said, we also have this repair here to do. Okay. And moving across this is the tool I use guys okay um, and it's pointed at the top as you can see and I usually just like jab like that I'll show you and if I come across anything and in just in, in a, the last bit of footage there you will have seen or the second last bit there look can you see it's made a hole there guys look and that's just that's not really I'm not putting any pressure on it but it's weak, okay? And like I said before, it's one millimeter thick. And all of this just in here, look. It's gone, you know, if you look at all this was all, it was there before, but behind this blob of weld, you know, it just went through. So again, I'm gonna cut this out. Again, down here, stay a couple of mil out. Okay, because if we can't put a weld in here, right? We can, but we'll be taking most of it out again, and it's a lot of work. So if I stay out on the edge here, okay, uh, about three mil out from the corner, and that way we'll be able to put our weld there, and we'll also be able to clean it, which is the most important thing. Access to clean your weld. You mustn't ever forget that, because if you put a weld into a corner, you, you know, especially in a tight area like this, it's very hard to try and um, clean it up after. So, yeah, we need a new shoulder in here, basically, because that's gone, yeah? If I push on that, you know, I'll go through. There's no meat on it, see? There's another hole, look. I just created another hole there, look. So, look. Yeah, so it's not... It's not a restoration then, is it? If you, you know... So, a new piece here is required. And repair this piece and repair this piece okay so unfortunately our sill isn't gonna go on this week guys yeah I'm gonna work on these through the week they're small little repairs yeah and get these done and uh, all going well we'll fit the sill in the next one but just to bring you up to date as regards yeah now like I said if yours check the bottom of your bus right um, when you open your sliding door and just here above the cargo floor yeah there's that area there and it's prone to rust and it's a hard little repair and this has to be done on this obviously you can see the two you can see yeah I had the tissue in there so that's it guys that needs to be cut out now and there's a big weld here as you can see that's how it's that's how it is so in case you don't know it's here now on footage 
it'll be there for all time look that weld there on the corner is a big weld and it's put in from this side here yeah you can do it here but this little piece right this this is bit you know this has um this is a crown on it right it's not a straight piece right to hold the rubber and there's two other holes up here as well that we have to deal with that's a prone that's prone as well yeah um from the best of my knowledge the actual panel is cut out like that yeah you can see that that is the actual shape on this panel yeah on the b post but on the inside it's gone so that needs repairing so that'll be that whole piece yeah from about here on down to you know the top of the track plate so that's it for this one guys i hope you enjoyed the content the advice that i was given as regards you know thinning out the metal um you know to to microns and it, it turns blue etc those are tips this is a short one it was just to you know to show you that we haven't actually um you know due to this guy okay but it's worth doing it you know because there's no point in putting a new panel over an area that's vulnerable yeah and that's weakened it was pitted those spot welds were pitted that hold on the little you know the end piece of the sill so it's as well to you know uh yeah you know it's as well to get it done and then we know going forward we've done all we could and it's a hundred percent um so with that i'm going to shut it down guys it's a short one i'm going to be making short ones or i'm hoping to continue to make you know just to deal with the issue and um you've seen me weld before etc and i will show little bits um you know i'll film during the week again on this one but that's it for now guys um i hope you have a great week um please like share subscribe hit the notification button if you want to continue on you know um and that's it until the next one from me and buster ciao oh yeah so herbie it is guys that's that's our new little tool right and that's it in the size of my hand okay with its guard on great little machine yeah absolutely brilliant and it says on there i don't know if you can make that out but it says heavy duty professional heavy duty 12 volt yeah so yeah delighted with this little guy so folks meet harvey Okay. Go get it. Go on. It's in there. Go on. Fetch. 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 Good boy. Go on. Fetch. Good girl. Go on. Get it. Go on. Fetch. No, you fetch. You fetch. Go on. Fetch. Go on. Fetch. Get in there and get it. Go on. Go on. <laughs> Go on, fetch. Go on. Go on. I'll help you. Come on. Where is it? Oh, look at it. Hey? Is that where it is? Mm -hmm. God almighty, you've got me down on the floor. Are you happy? Hmm? Are you happy now? Yeah, Are you happy? Here's our new beetle, guys. Yeah? Here we go. Eh? All day long. <laughs>